Jacobian play becomes a contemporary prose fiction novel. Contemporary, by the way, don't be misled by that word, of now. It's of our current time. But people often think contemporary means 21st century. It actually doesn't. It's just the period we're in now. So Shakespeare had a, had a contemporary period. His contemporary period was the period when he was around. Our contemporary period is now. So contemporary isn't actually that specific or telling of anything. It just means now. But it is true that Atwood is right in now in our period, 2016. Okay, so it is a contemporary. But if we want to talk about context, you have to be more specific than that. Prose fiction novel. Guys, when you read verse, if you go and look at a poem that's really structured, you know, with those short lines, capitals at the start of each line, sound, it sounds like it has a rhythm to it. You know, when you read a poem, it has a rhythm. Da -da 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 -da. That's verse. Prose is just conversational English. So everything you read almost is prose. How we're yeah. speaking to each other now is in prose. I just wanted to clarify that for people because often people don't actually understand what prose means. Prose is just conversational, everyday English. And that's how the, the novel is written. The play, on the other hand, has both aspects. Some of the characters speak in prose. It's usually to represent lower status. Okay, so anyone who's not familiar with that, write that in, right? Prose in, in a play, not talking about the novel now. That's not the, that's not the case for that. In Shakespeare's plays, the Tempest, and especially the Tempest, prose equals lower status, lower class. Verse, people who speak in more eloquent English, where it's nice and structured and poetic, so you can look for capitals at the start of each line, that's how you know, right? Even though it shouldn't be a capital because there's no comma or whatever, or there's no full stop rather, like Alonzo and Antonio and all of them will speak in verse. And obviously the key word to use throughout your essay when referring to the relationship there is adaptation. As I said, appropriation, going being really technical, is not really the best word to use for it in my opinion. And Atwood herself calls it an adaptation in the actual novel. <laughs>